Election day. Wow, one week away. We're already there. So let's continue with our breakdown of the governor's race. Let's bring in Devin, who's back with another question and answer now from our candidates. Well, uh, Jason Karen, we posed 10 questions to Governor Whitmer and Tudor Dixon. We asked the very same question to each candidate worded just the same way. And one of our questions was this one. Proposal three would amend the state constitution to guarantee that every individual in the state has a fundamental right to reproductive freedom, which would cover abortion, pre and postpartum care, contraception and infertility care. If it should pass, what would your role as governor be in adopting it into Michigan life? I drew that question from the proposal itself, but part of Tudor Dixon's answer was her taking issue with my wording. I think I need to be clear here that if it passes, my role is to make sure I uphold the law. But the way you've read what the proposal covers is leaving out some details. And I think it's important for the Michigan public to understand that it is extreme. There is no law that mirrors that in the United States. It's abortion up to the moment of birth, abortion for any reason. It includes partial birth abortion. There's no parental consent included in that. So a minor can seek out an abortion without a parent knowing. And that's not how Michigan law is now. It also doesn't define that you have to be a degreed medical professional to perform an abortion. This is the only other place that we see this kind of extreme law are in China and North Korea. So when you read that question, I just think it's, it's important to pr provide context for your viewers. Well, to no one's surprise, I will be yes vote on Proposal 3 as well, enshrining women's ability to make their own decisions about their bodies like we've had been able to for 49 years is really important. A next governor will absolutely still have an impact. Uh, there will be a legislature that will write laws, will help clarify any um, challenges, as well as we could see some action in court. But I think that having a governor who supports the, the amendment um, and is determined to make sure that we're thoughtful and we protect parental consent and other regular um, oversight things that we already have in law, I think is, it will continue to be necessary. And so that's something I'm eager to do. Now, our latest and final poll of the 2022 midterms, and we just released this portion this morning, showed that right now Michiganders are in favor of Proposal 3 by a margin of 14 points, 55% to 41%. And our pollster, Richard Zuba, says while inflation is named by those polled as the top issue facing Michigan, abortion is the issue that more voters say is motivating them to get out and vote.